time in YouTube and welcome back to Theme Deck Corner. Today we are looking at the second Theme Deck from Guardians Rising and that is the Steel Sun Theme Deck featuring Solgaleo GX, the Stage 2 Steel type Pokemon with 160 HP, has the Shining Arrow attack for one Steel, one color, so you get to do 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And you have Fangs of the Sun, two Steel, one color, so you're going to do 170 damage. However, this Pokemon can't use Fangs of the Sun during your next turn. Personally, the overall effects of the Lunala from Hidden Moon are a little better in my opinion, but the fact that, I don't know, I don't know, this this one here might seem like the weaker of the two to me, but that is just an opinion on my side. Again, like I said in the previous video, please let me know in the comment section below which one is going to be the better of the two decks, Hidden Moon or Steel Sun. Your opinions do matter, guys, and I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are on the decks as well. Um, let's me kind of get in tune with you guys and kind of, kind of, it makes it more of a conversation, not just me playing a video game. Uh, but anyway, so now that we've gone over Sogaleo, what are the partners that they gave us? And one of them is going to be Cast Form. 70 HP colorless Pokemon, basic with Weather Teller, one colorless energy. You get to search your deck for up to two stadium cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. You have Water Pulse, two colorless, 30 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. So. That's not really a great card for me. Uh, yeah, it can get us a stadium card, but again, you don't really need two stadium cards. Uh, next up is the Beware. Now, we've gone over this one in the previous deck. This card is actually a beast. 130 HP stage one with the colorless typing has rake it in. When you play this Pokemon to evolve one of your Pokemon, you actually get to draw three additional cards. So it's like, evolve this card and you get a how. Beautiful, I love it. You also have Dangerous Blow for 3 colorless energy, 60 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic, this attack is going to do 60 more damage. So you have that potential to do 120 damage. That is some raw power from a 3-star three, uh, three attacking uh, monster. Pokemon. Wow. Most of the games I'm playing are not Pokemon, apparently. Anyway, we get our buddy Swellows in the house today. The stage 1. Colorless Pokemon, 90 HP, with the agility, uh, cost you one colorless energy, you get to do 20 damage, you get to flip a coin if heads prevent all effects of attack, including damage done to this Pokemon during your next, uh, during your opponent's next turn. And you also have Swallow Dive, for one colorless, we can do 40 damage. Uh, if this Pokemon used agility during your last turn, this attack is going to do 80 damage, so we have that potential to do, sorry, 80 more damage. So again, for one colorless energy, we can actually do 120 damage. Swellow has a ton of damage behind him for a stage one Pokemon. So very, very nice card here. Um, next up is the Matang 90 HP Steel type. Obviously, we did not get the Metagross GX in this deck, but it is a stage one with Ram and Core Beam. Uh, Core Beam, you have to discard a Steel Energy. It's going to cost you two Steel and one colorless to use for 80 damage. I'm probably not going to play it. Um, we do have a really cool card though in Delmise, 120 HP colorless Pokemon that has Steel Worker. Uh, your Steel Pokemon do 10 additional damage um, to your opponent's active Pokemon, and you have Anchor Shot for one colorless, two, uh, sorry, one psychic, two colorless. We get to do 70 damage. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during their next turn. Um, but as you, oh, we do actually have Psychic Energy. Never mind. Um, we have one Oracorio, 90 HP. Uh, Colorless Pokemon has that Vital Dance, which is pretty much a professor's letter on a Pokemon, so it's a very good Oracorio. I really do like the abilities that some of these guys drop off. You know what the focus po Pokemon is. Let's give them some benefits. And Oracorio give us, gives us one of those benefits just by playing it. You get those energies into our hands, and it's very nice. You also have Casual Slap, one Psychic, one Colorless, and it's going to do 30 damage. Uh, next up is the full line of Slowbro, stage 110 HP psychic type Pokemon with Amnesia for 20 damage for one colorless energy. Uh, choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks. That Pokemon can't use that attack during your opponent's next turn. So it's actually kind of cool because it stalls them out. If they've only got one attack, they can't attack. Um, or if in terms of the Solgaleo, when they can't use the Fang, a Fang of the Sun, they can't use the other one as well. Um, sorry, the other attack being... Shining Arrow. Uh, Slowbro also has Facade, or Facade, for one Psychic, two colors. So you're going to do 50 damage. If this Pokemon is burned or poisoned, uh, you're also going to do an additional 80 damage. So you have 130 damage possibility here, but you have to be burned or poisoned. And we don't have any real ways of getting that onto it. 
Um, a way to get it off, though, is the Big Melisada. You get to heal 20 damage and remove a special condition. I really like this over potion. Um, as much as it doesn't heal as much damage, getting rid of that special condition can mean quite a bit. Uh, um, we do have the Energy Retrieval. Put two basic car uh, energy cards from your just compile into your hand. We have some Nest Balls. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon. Put it into your hand. Or, sorry, put it onto your bench. Shuffle afterwards. Uh, we do have the new trainer, the Rescue Stretcher. Choose one, put a Pokemon from your discard pile right back into your hand, or shuffle three Pokemon in your discard pile into your deck. So it's a very good situational card. Very, very strong. We also have the Switch. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench. Couple timer balls, flip two coins. Uh, for each head, search your deck for an evolution Pokemon, put, reveal it, put it in your hand. And we have the Altar of the Sun. Fire Pokemon and Steel Pokemon have no weakness. So... Our Solgaleo here, who is weak to fire, will not be weak to fire. It'll be completely immune to it. Beautiful. Um, we have the How, draw three cards. We have Professor Kukui, draw two cards. However, you will also be doing 20 additional damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And lastly, we have 12 Steel Energy and 8 Psychic Energy. Now that is the deck. Personally, now here's my thoughts. I have not played this deck at this moment in time. My personal thoughts is that Lunala's Hidden Moon is better. There are some cool, really clutch cards here, though, that evolve. And the only um, non-fully evolved line is the Matang. So as long as we can kind of bypass that, and maybe the cast form, um, we'll be okay. Um, but here we go. Two matches coming at you for Steel Sun. All right, guys. Our first match is against Lucho Luco, and of course it's against a fire deck, so our steel types are going to have a problem unless we can get that Altar of the Sun up. Um, we are going to see our opponent does get this coin toss, and we are going to win it, and we will want to go first because we do want to get that Cosmog up and running ASAP. Now Incineroar can be a bit of a pain, but we are not going to get anything like that. I'm actually going to lead Beldum because I can go for that Corby. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I didn't realize Core Beam on Beldum also discarded an energy. That makes it very hard to set this thing up. <sighs> Let's go for the Talo. I really didn't want to have the Beldum, but you know what? I got no choice. Maybe I can get lucky and get Swallow on the following turn, or Timer Ball is something to get me into it. Uh, we are going to get a Switch. That's not very helpful. And we at least have the immunity to my opponent's Pokemon, so that is a very good thing to see. Having the Palisan and the Crabrawler. Now that Crabrawler will not be evolving anytime soon. Uh, we're going to see how, so my opponent does get to draw three additional cards. We do not, which is unfortunate. And they've got Passimian. Now, of course, we do have, again, that resistance. So as long as we can get our Swallow, we should be okay. We should be okay and can start from taking out some knockouts because we don't have to drop any additional energy onto Taylor. We can just kind of focus on whatever comes next, uh, but we do need to get that Swallow going now. Um, I can evolve the Matang, obviously, on the next turn as well. Um, but other than that, we're not in a very good position. My opponent actually opts to put a Fire Energy down onto that Passimian. We're going to get a Steel Energy, so nothing relative at all. Uh, we can evolve. I'm not even going to attack because this is just going to hurt me in the long run. Uh, yeah, because team play, he needs more Passimian. Passimian is a really strong card, but needs Passimian to do the damage. So we're going to see that he does have it, but he does pass the turn, so I'm good with that. We're going to get another energy. Not something great here. Um, we might be able to go for a Core Beam on the following turn. But that'll just knock out one Pokemon, and yeah, I'm going to pass. Ah, uh, man. I'm I'm a little nervous here, having my little Talo up in the front. My opponent does not need to drop any additional energy onto the Passimian. Does drop a Fire Energy onto that Brawler. Uh, We're going to get Cosmog, which is a very good drop. But I will actually opt to... I shouldn't do this. You know what? We're going to do it anyway. I might as well get a free knockout when I have it. 
And you never know, this prize could be the, um, the epitome of what's to come. Come on! Cosmom! Actually, that's a perfect card for us to get. Uh, so now I only need to get the Solgaleo. I can't obviously set this thing up anytime soon, though, because our Steel Energies are already starting to dwindle down. Um, but we've got one prize ahead. Our opponent can't do too much. Can fling us for 30, but again, I don't... Uh, the resistance isn't going to matter in the bench, and Cosmog does not want to take that additional damage. Considering we don't get that high of an HP draw, uh, increase with Cosmog. So we're going to see Kukui. Now, he will definitely want to go with the team play here, because that'll do 30 to my Metang. If I get a Steel Energy, I might just go for the attack. I don't know. I really don't know here. I'm in a bad position, overall. Timer Ball did get my opponent one additional card, and that is going to be... What? I don't think... Like I said, I don't think Rebominable's in that deck. It is a fire fighting deck. We're going to see it's Incineroar. So our opponent must have the, um... Oh, jeez. Torcat in hand. I couldn't remember what Torcat's name was. For the life of me. Alright, so we get a Slowpoke. I don't really want that. We're going to drop an energy down onto uh, good old Cosmom. Go for a ram. Now, if I can get Steel Energy, that will be the end of this Pacivian and we'll be two prizes ahead. And the Matang, as much as I said in the deck the preview that it was the card to disappear from, or to kind of look over, we might get some knockouts here. I can't knock this thing out. What am I talking about? So we're going to get flinged. 30 damage to our Cosmom. And we are going to get a Steel Energy. Okay. That is a good card to grab right now. So we are going to put that down. You can do 40 damage to us. And I'm going to go for the Ram. Because uh, there's no point in going for Core Beam and then having him escape. So you will not be able to knock it. Oh. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Fling. You'll be able to knock out my Cosmom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not getting much here. The Specimion is a problem. Uh, I am going to go with the Ram. It's going to put him up to 30 damage. And now he is in range of being knocked out from the Core Beam. But my opponent is going to get a prize card from the Cosmom uh, without us being able to really do much to him. Uh, we are not a Psychic type, so we do not uh, have super effective against for Brawler, and our opponent is going to get an additional card. I would love some cards. Does get the Litten, so my opponent can start setting up Incineroar, and down goes our Cosmom. So our, our Solgaleo is currently benched and gone. Oops. Sorry, guys. Did not mean to hit the microphone. I get a Beware. Our card draw is not very good here. Uh, we are going to take out this thing with a Core Beam. I do not want this Pissimian doing any more damage. There it goes. Alright, so our next card is... Socolio. Alright! Socolio is not doing so hot for me. My opponent has an Oran Guru, so they can never go below three cards in hand. Energy Retrieval will net them two additional energies. One Fire, one uh, Fighting. Um... And this Crabrawler can actually two-shot me. If I can get my Swellow, I still have an opportunity here. And this thing is the only thing that's set up. And if I can get a Steel... Actually, if I get a Steel Energy right now, that would be clutch. I don't. I want to get a... Well, I have a full line of the Cosmom. Ooh, I have Beware in hand, right? Yes. Alright, I need to get a Stuffle. Stuffle, and then next turn I can kind of get out of this problem of hand. Um, if I can get a Psychic Energy, I can kind of go for the Whimsy Tackle, but I might not do anything. We're kind of depending on all the Pokemon that we don't need. Uh, we are going to see a Fire Energy onto the Torcat. 
It's gonna become the Incineroar now, and now Incineroar is just scary. Now there's a Rug and Rolla. My opponent's got all sorts of momentum, even though we are currently now tied. My opponent has all the momentum. That's a Steel Energy. We're gonna beware though. Get a few cards here. Nothing of importance. Fine. Steel energy on Slowpoke. Come on, Slowpoke. Let's see that whimsy tackle. Come on. Yes! Yes, there goes the freaking Cribrawler. One less Pokemon. We do have an Incineroar coming up, though. And we cannot whimsy tackle that thing. No, 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 no. We cannot do it. Now it's nice as I can Oracorio and I can two I can get two basic energies out of the deck so I don't have to draw them. Um, but we are going to have a lot of problems here. Because that Darkest Lariat is very scary. You can do a hundred times two. Like, I don't know. And currently our opponent is a evolved Pokemon, so our Beware does not do any damage. We're gonna see our opponent has a Beware of their own, but it's a different, more cuddly kind. Uh, ours definitely looks more ferocious. Um, I like our Beware a little bit better than the one they've got. And we're going to see Darkest Lariat is... It's not going to do anything! Oh, yes! We kind of just snuck by there. We kind of snuck by there. So we are going to drop the Oracorio here. Get those two energies out of the deck so we don't draw them. And I want to steal. We can drop down the stadium, and we're gonna go for a whimsy tackle. Come on! Yes! 60 damage! It is something, guys. That is the thing. It is something. Now, my opponent only needs to land one coin toss on that Darkest Larry, and we will lose our slow poke. But, we're getting close. There it is. He's got both of them. 200 damage to our slow poke. Uh, we were close. Uh, we can put up the Oracorio right now. Um, we are not in range of knocking it out with Beware. And I'm in a tough spot again. I have to hope and get something. I'm gonna have to sacrifice this Oracorio. I'm gonna have to sacrifice a lot of stuff. I know the Beware, like the Beware can't win me the game. Um, and just the wrong flip will get rid of my beware. Whereas if I actually get Solgaleo going... <sighs> there goes my Orcorio. We're gonna lose this matchup. I can get some additional damage down with Taylor though. I can at least do some damage. We're gonna get Steel Energy, drop that down. I didn't get Cosmon though. I I'm having a hard time with the Stage 2. Uh, we're gonna do 20 damage. There we go. Uh, still not in range of knocking this thing out. I need Cosmom to come up now. Is the only way I can win this. It's the only way I can come back. Is Cosmom coming up now? Because then I can... St I... No, I can't win this. I cannot win this. And I got 200 damage against me on that. Up comes Cosmom, because it's our last card anyway. Um, we will lose this first match. We did not get the Cosmom. We got really shafted here. I will draw a card. Please don't be Cosmom. It's a how. Okay. Well, that would have been better too, because I would have been able to actually get some cards. But, uh, you know what? We're not out of this, technically. No, we're out. Alright. Incineroar takes down Sogaleo. Um, we had a really bad card draw there, but that's what happens with theme decks. Um, I don't have much else to say. Um, we got really just unlucky with some of the cards. I think we could have had a lot of opportunities there if we got some of the uh, draw support earlier and had that opportunity to kind of set up that Cosmom before we pulled that Sogaleo drop. Uh, but either way, we have another match coming for you guys in just a second. Alright, our second match is against Pepsi for Peace! Playing Incineroar. Seriously? 
Well, at least we have the opportunity to make a comeback. Uh, we are going to be able to call this coin toss. And look at that Sogaleo coin. It's so pretty. Uh, we are going to win the coin toss. And we are going to go first. Get that opportunity to evolve right away. We are going to get a Cosmog right away. And we have a Timer Ball. Our only Pokemon is Cosmog, though. So that's a bit of a problem. A bit of a problem. Because we might take some unnecessary damage right away. Um, but here's hoping we can do okay. Our opponent has the Stuffle and a Palacin, so not too threatened. Uh, we can drop a nice energy here. Go for the Timer Ball right away. We are going to get that Solgaleo. And who else do we have? I'm going to grab Solgaleo. I'm going to grab Beware. I'm going to grab Beware. Because I have the opportunity too. Might as well grab it. So we now have our full line. Um, and we're just going to pass the turn because I can't attack. My opponent cannot attack with Stuffle either. Uh, has two energies, so it will need a secondary attack. A second energy to attack, which is great. My opponent gets a ton of cards thanks to Lily. Um, we do not have Lilies here. But our opponent's Timer Bowl does fail. That is huge. Um, we're going to see a second one here, and it's... Wow. that That's a bit of unfortunate luck. We are going to see it's going to be the Beware that they're going to draw. But we don't have to worry about it, because it can't evolve this turn. Uh, we'll take 40 on the next, and be into Sogaleo range. So we'll be okay. Uh, Cosmog comes up. Uh, we can drop a Steel Energy here. Drop our Slowpoke. We can evolve into Slowbro on the following turn. And I'm going to just pass... I can't see you knocking us out. So I'm going to pass... We have that ability to go into Solgaleo, and we'll be able to take out Beware as long as we get an energy. Now, we're going to get Bear Hugged, uh, and what does this do? The thing can't retreat. That's fine. I wasn't planning on it. We do get that third energy, so we can now soulfully go for Solgaleo here. Uh, we can go for our Slowbro as well. Drop our Altar of the Sun so we're not weak to fire. Go for our nice Kukui. Get a couple additional cards. I'm going to get that Beware, or the Stuffle, I'm sorry. Um... That way we can play our Beware and get a few more cards. And I'm getting rid of this. It's a Steel Energy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have the wrong energy on this thing. I have to sacrifice all three. Oh, no. I was so happy to go for that Fangs of the Sun. And now my opponent can do 120, da 120 damage to me. Actually, Beware is going to knock me out. Wow. All that to be knocked out by a Beware. We're going to get super powered, and it will take out Beware, because it, it, it just makes sense to go for the 120. It does a fantastic job of just eating us alive. Uh, I'm going to have to go into Slowbro. You are weak to fighting and not psychic. I'm going to get that energy. I am going to drop it onto Slowbro. What a waste that was. And get those psychic energies back. I feel the split in energy is a little off in this deck. And you cannot go for super power on your next turn. No super power. So you can only do 40 damage to me. Thank you. And I should be able to knock it out on the following turn. So Slowbro might actually come in clutch here, giving us a little bit of time to set up Beware in the back. Here comes the Bear Hug, and we are going to see a switch. So we're going to start setting you up, and we can go for that Amnesia. I don't need to worry too much about the effect. Uh, we'll go Superpower again, and we'll take the prize. 
It's going to be a psychic energy, so we will get our three prizes here. Up comes that Litten. And if it doesn't get evolved, you should be okay. It's going to get evolved, because you know what? That is just how these things happen. <sighs> Fury Swipes. Oh, of course we're taking additional damage. Uh, drop down the energy here. And we are going to go for Amnesia, which will do some damage. I have to not let him go for Flamethrower, but even then, he needs two Fury Swipes to knock me out. So no Flamethrower, but if you evolve, I'm going to go down anyway. Brawler gets played. Do you have the energy? You do have the energy. Now you can't go for Flamethrower. You can only go for Fury Swipes. No! We didn't have enough damage down. We don't have enough damage down for Beware to do anything. Um, and I've already used my Kukui. I can put the Solgalia line back in. There we go. We have opportunities. My opponent could just go for a flamethrower though and do a massive amount of damage to us. And unfortunately it's not going to do, we're not going to be in a great shape here again. We're just not pulling through with this deck. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. As much as a lot of the core is the same, it's not. It's not in any way, shape, or form the same. Um, we are going to see that our opponent will be able to bring up that Smackdown Rog and Rolla on the following turn. We're going to try and set up this Cos... Uh, the wow. Solgaleo again with the Cosmog coming onto the bench. Uh, I have to take out this uh, Torcat now. And unfortunately, the good old Rog and Rolla will be able to eliminate me. It'll do 40 damage, which is enough to knock me out. Now it'll do 60 damage, enough to knock me out. Oh boy. I have to sacrifice my Slowpoke. We're gonna get a Cast Form, which we can just drop right onto the bench. Let it be another sacrifice. I'm gonna drop this nice Psychic Energy down onto our Cosmog, and I'm gonna pass. I just got to pass. My opponent does get the Oranguru, the Makuhita. Uh, we have the advantage technically, but we have no resistance to this. So our opponent is going to be able to wallop us for Magical 50. Magical 50. We're going to see Kukui, so we will be 70 and we'll be able to knock out Slowpoke. Our opponent is getting a nasty lead on us and I don't like it. I don't like it. The Pissimian's down now. Oh boy. Uh, we can go into our Cosmom. We're going to get a Steel Energy, which we can drop onto you. And teleport, because I have no other options. Now you are weak to fighting, so we will definitely lose you this turn. And we'll be just down to our Cosmog, who can't go for full damage. Um, we will lose this game again, because I... I Solgaleo, just not that great of a deck. I'm not big on this deck. Here comes up the Cosmom. We are not going to get the good old... Yeah, that's that's game, guys. That's game. I'm going to pass. Uh, my opponent can, it can't knock me out technically unless they get the, uh, the Gigalith, of course. Um, but taking that unnecessary damage is just... It's unnecessary damage. We're gonna get Steel Energy. We've we've got everything we need to set this thing up now. Um, we can switch. Kind of stall out a little bit here, but we can't get out of the Matang either. So I don't know. I don't know. We're doing everything we can to get this thing going. Fire Energy onto that Oranguru. The Oranguru is completely set up. Matang is gonna take 50. And we are going to get a Cosmog. That is going to be this game, guys. Nothing I could do 
We got the wrong energy. I thought we were going to just sweep with our Solgaleo. I just thought we were going to sweep. Having the Alter of the Sun up so we weren't going to be uh, weak to the Litten line. Um, but having the wrong energy just cut our losses. And that is the big problem with this one. With Lunala, there was such a higher density of Psychic Energies versus this one where you have mostly, you have a more even cut. And that is the big problem with it is I'm getting the wrong energy when I don't need it. So you had the problem with the wrong energy and you have a few Pokemon that just, you know what, aren't really great. And uh, yeah, overall, my personal opinion is I really enjoyed the the power behind the Lunala with Shattershot, having that scaling damage, having that ability to move the energy, and having all those fantastic things. Hidden Moon was just a much more well-rounded deck versus this one, which not only did you need three energy to get to the 170 mark, but you can't even use it on the following turn. So you can't, you, you can't just milk it for all it's worth. You you have to one and then the other. One and then the other. So Solgaleo in this particular one I think was the weaker of the two. Uh, but that is my opinion. Let me know in the comment sections which one you guys definitely thought was the better of the two decks. Um, starting Tuesday we will have brand new deck profiles of all the new GXs. I'm trying the hardest, uh, like the best of my possibility to get as many of them out to you as possible. And Starting tomorrow for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just this week, we will have additional pack openings to celebrate the Guardians Rising. I already have the Elite Trainer Box and two of the uh, Triple Blisters, so we will have tons of content coming your way to celebrate the incoming Guardians Rising. So that is all for me. If you guys are brand new here, please hit that, that subscribe button because it means the world to me that you guys come back and enjoy the content on a regular basis. Um, but again, like I said, that is all for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, time out.